Good day viewers, this is BVI Channel 1. My name is Queen Madu and you're welcome to another segment of Reason with Queen. So, Ghana police warned their prophets not to bring out any false prophecy this come 2022. That they don't want, that if you do that, they are going to arrest you and you can be jailed for nine years. If that prophecy causes harm or gets people killed or something like that. So, I... I'm not one that does not believe in prophecy. No, I'm a very good Christian and I believe in prophecy. There are prophecies in the Bible and all that. But this is not what we are talking about here. We are talking about people that have already wore that cloak of acting as God. You have to have a descending spirit to know a fake prophet and a real prophet. There is this women now that are making waves in Nigeria that came out. You know, those people who do in their house, who are in Nigeria and are working, who are working in the house, who sit them down and question them. People come out and give prophecies that only breed fear in the heart of men. Gene is a sin. Football is a sin. If you are a comedian, you are committing sin. I will show you one of our videos. Anybody that dies as a football star shall go to hell. Write it down. I'm not forcing you to believe me. Just hear and keep it. I'm not forcing you to believe. If your child here becomes star in ball, your brother becomes star in ball, automatic certificate to hell. In Ramne, in Ramne, if you love to eat Indomie, my dear, you are eating a food dedicated to idol. You can eat other nonus, but Indomie is highly polluted. I've said it before. Some people hate me because I tell you secrets about jeans. The more you wear jeans, the more closer you are to hell. I'm not joking here. If I have chance, I will tell you secrets about jeans. I'm not joking here. If you wear jeans, now me buy them for you. If you don't wear them, I go buy another one for you. Now me burn you. Excuse me, if you go to hellfire, will you stop me from going to heaven? So if I tell you not to wear jeans, will you leave your church and join my church? Tell me the reason why I will deceive you. They will tell you useless reason because it make you smart is a lie how can this make you smart very hard in your body to wash them no problem some to wear them you go need to fight <laughs> stretch this you know how they take wear them now you go sit down you go bend down you go stand up before you can enter one leg you will start wrestling with another leg again and still they will tell you it's free if you are doing this one, you are committing this one. If you are doing this one, you are committing this one. You will not near heaven. You will not. Eh? Advocate of Jesus. 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 Eh, eh, P.A. Muhammad. Eh, 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 eh. Any. Listen to me. Any prophecy that breeds fear in the heart of men is a prophecy from the pit of hell. God do not, not implant fear on his people. He doesn't do that. Prophecy. Real prophecy comes with hope, love, goodness. You don't just come, say some certain things, and put fear in the heart of men. So, I am commending the, 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 the Ghana policemen. I am telling you. Because some of this prophecy has caused serious problems. The problem with us is that we are religious. We are too religious. Even the Bible says religion kills. Go and read your Bible and read it for yourself. The word of God is life. John 1 verse 1 said what? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. God is the word. If you want to know God for yourself, read your Bible if you're a Christian. Anything they say, you listen to this God of men. You listen to them and swear yourself. Listen, see, like this that you are. You are an anointed man. You see that, uh, do not uh, touch my anointing. I do my anointing, no harm that is in the Bible. Talk not my anointing, I do my, do my anointed one, no harm, right? It is for you and I that are in Christ. It's not for only men of God. No, when people use you, that is how a pastor in South, South, in South uh, um, uh, Africa told his members to go out and be eating grass. And they were eating grass. That is how a pastor told his members to go and eat swallow live snake. That is how some pastors, a pastor told his member to lie down and he was climbing their body like donkeys. So we tell you to do ridiculous things because you imagine when when you don't know yourself, you fall for anything. When you don't know what you stand and who you are, you fall for whatever they tell you. You can't you you don't 
and laziness. You don't even want to research. You don't want to. You don't want to know God for yourself. You don't want to see. Christianity is the most simplest thing that can ever happen to you. Very simple, with the liberty. It is God that gave us the reasoning. Just allow the Holy Spirit to do His work. Christianity is very simple. But this God of men makes it complicated. And you fuel it. You add fuel into their fire and they keep using it to burn you. Eh? Please and please, on behalf of Ghana police, I am joining now to beg all of you. Do not bring prophecy that is going to harm people. Stop acting God in the life of men. Even real prophets in the Bible is not all the time that God shows them things. You see, be wary of prophets that always have one thing to say all the time. They are not from God. Be wary of prophets that always bring out doom and condemnation. They are not from God. You better know God for yourself. Oh, and stop falling for anything that this man of God of men say. Eh? Now the descending spirit, if you must go, listen to your spirit and know. Any man of God that always preach and refer to the Bible is a real man of God. He's not the one that will say something from the air. That football is a sin. You're on your way to hell. If you wear jeans, you're on your way to hell. If you are a comedian, you're on your way to hell. If you watch Disney movies, you're on your way to hell. You are packing it. Fear. They are not even preaching Christ. They are not preaching the love of God. That is what Christ is all about. They are not preaching any of that. Christ is love. You love men. You love men to death. That is why he came. You love men. That is how you get people. No matter what you think, you have to use love to get men. You tell them. It's not you come with fear and all those yada yada yobo. And people are packing it. People walk with fear, scared. Let's do better this 2022 that is coming. Let's do better. And have a discerning spirit to discern who is saying truth. If you come call I'm known, if you like keep falling for God of men, they will tell you that they will come to your house and do poche punanza chapu. They will carry your money and release more demons into your household. You know, in this December. All of you will come back and the next thing you are looking for somebody that will come and pray for your family. Is there something in your mouth? Can't you pray? I say, Anna, Anna, always in honor. Always in honor. Oh, yada, yada, you will lies from the pit of hell. They will go and bring out and tell you that your great grandmother was killing your great grandfather. And your great grandfather now killed your, your superior great grandmother. And that is how, my dear, wisdom is profitable to direct. Let's do better. And have a discerning spirit. To discern who is saying truth. If you come call I'm known. If you like keep falling for God of men, they will tell you that they will come to your house and do poche punanza chapu. They will carry your money and release more demons into your household. You know, in this December, all of you will come back and the next thing you are looking for somebody that will come and pray for your family. Is there something in your mouth? Can't you pray? I say again, always in honor. Always in honor. Oh, yada, yada, you will lies from the pit of hell. They will go and bring out and tell you that your great grandmother was killing your great grandfather. And your great grandfather now killed your, your superior great grandmother. And that is how, my dear, wisdom is profitable to direct. All those always, you know, Nasi give with 150,000, with 200,000. If you don't know what you are going to use that money, do go and share it to your own money. Share those money to your own money. Because all these things you are doing, you are wasting your money and bringing more demons into your kingdom, your, 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 your family. I pray we listen and be wise. Even the Bible said you should be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove. That is it today on Reason with Queen. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platform, Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. And if you want to see my personal stuff in my personal space, don't forget to subscribe to Little Queen's World on YouTube. Until I come your way next time, please know God for yourself.